terrific handball and the ball was being repelled out of half back. Number Mannion kicks the ball forward. William Free has it showing good pace. Mason Whitney, who's had a lot of the footy here in this first quarter, finds a nice, nice neat target of, of Russell once again. Those two boys finding plenty of the ball. Quick handball from Redmond. Umpire says that's a throw. And Devils Black will have the ball and head it over towards the scoreboard. Great mark over there from Farrow, who's presented up along the line. Kicks the ball long down the line again. Boys just kicking the footy back and forth just down the line. Need to probably shift the footy off the line. Aldridge, handball to Mannion. Holmes again. Quick handball from, from Farrow. Umpire says, I'll have it. Centre wing, far side, scoreboard. Reads 117 to one point. Quick tap, 18. Ball just bouncing around. No real clean possession. There's one there. Kicks the ball forward, centre half forward. And he has it again. He's brought his own football. Kicks the ball to, center, to the top of the square. Oh, great set of hands. Terrific mark from Husband from Prospect, who will go back and have a shot on goal. To, uh, to give him a little bit of a buffer here in the first quarter. So he lines it up. The lights have been turned on here at Prospect Park. Comes in. Goal umpire just moves slightly to his left, but that's all clear. So a beautiful finish. And the score is now 2-1-13 to one point. Devils goal. We've probably had the majority of the play here in this first quarter, providing some really good run and attacking footy off half back, looking to use the corridor at every opportunity and getting the football into some one-on-ones, which has enabled them to be able to hit the scoreboard. So back to the middle we go. Ball's been thrown up again. Good contest in the air. Tap down, ball's driven forward. He's in the air again. Oh, terrific mark again. He's looked to share the footy off. Boys are lining up. And there's another one. So Mason Whitney was out on that far side. The ball got shifted from husband. Great, great team football bringing each other into the game. It's what we like to see, particularly in these trial games. It's, it's all about sharing the footy, bringing your teammates into the game. And he was able to do that. Great finish in the end from Whitney. So the, looking for the uh, looking for some clearance work there from from Morrison who gets the ball for, moving forward. Ball's in dispute, knocked out. Blew it. Surges the ball forward. Great attack. There's a free kick. Put his head over the ball. Jake Beams swings onto his left, much like his old man. Great link up there from, from the Devils. Black drive the ball forward. Gets it forward to a one-on-one. -on -one. Goal umpire says all clear. So some terrific play there, particularly set up from Jake Beams. Swung onto his left foot, a la Ben Beams. And uh, got the ball moving forward nice and quick, which enabled... Uh, a beautiful shot on goal from Farrow. Lovely long kick. And it was watched through by Sterling on the goal line. So a great response from the Devils Black, who have now uh, been able to wrestle back some momentum after the Devils goal got on top. So 3-1-19, Devils Black 1-1-7, ball back to the middle. So centre, cl centre clearance is all important. Getting the ball forward into, the, into your forward half, allowing the opposition to be able to defend from, from turnover. So uh, again, Farrow driving the ball forward. Good link up. Tyler Graham brings the ball out of defence. Farrow again, he's a strong, strong lad. Umpire says that's holding the footy. Great tackle there. 
from sing line. Kicks the ball, far wing. Terrific play from Cubitt. Kicks the ball far and wide, and the umpire says, I'll throw it in over under the light tower in the far pocket. Breeze is heading over into that direction, so the ball will be on that outer wing quite a bit this afternoon. So you've got Singline versus versus Dawkins in the ruck. Great tap down from Singline. Oh, it's a, ball, ball's in dispute. Great, great play from Cubitt. Kicks the ball back to where it came from. Swings onto his right with Smith Loon. Ball's in a dangerous position. Just out the top of the square. Ball's bouncing around once again. Who dives on it? Umpire says, I'll have the footy. And we're about 25 out from the, the Devil's Black goal, goal line. In a really attacking position. Great tap again from Singline. He's doing some great work in the ruck. Out to Smith Loon, who has a fire, fires on, on goal. And puts it through for one behind. So all of a sudden, the Devil's Black have got the ball trapped in their forward line. And are getting some looks. Ball exits the D50. Great mark there from Whitney, who's had his hands on the footy quite a bit. He looks to bring the ball back inside to, to Beerman. Just playing a little bit of possession footy here at the moment. Good contest in the air. Ball feels, spills free for Holmes, who finds... Almost found a target inside 50. Just went over his head was Smith Loon, who's providing a, a good target forward of the ball for Devils Black. And once again, the ball is back inside that attacking 50 for the Devils Black, who are now looking to sort of hold this ball in and get some repeat 50 entries. Ball goes over the Ruckman's head. Great throw from the from the boundary umpire. Ball in dispute. There's Beams again. Ball gets flicked out. Great handball. Where is it? There it is. 21. Tyler, Tyler Graham kicks the ball wide. The foot race is on. Dawkins will, will almost be there. Wheeler's beating to it. Good attack on the ball. Boys are throwing themselves in at the contest. Who can win it? Morrison's there. Ball comes forward. And that's a terrific contested mark by Radcliffe, who will go back and have a shot on goal. Young lad from Penguin put himself in the right position. It was a great run off half back from Penny, who just was able to get the ball moving forward. Ball was in dispute. He's going to go back and have a shot. Umpire did a bit of work, but I think it's all clear. Terrific shot on goal. Just used the wind, curled it back nicely. And a terrific goal there from Ratcliffe. So things have things have started to happen just purely through that forward 50, forward 50 work. Just getting some repeat 50 entries, putting the the Devils' gold under some severe pressure. And the damn wall was sort of broke after having five entries inside their 50. They were able to hit the scoreboard once again. And, and to their credit, they've come back 2-2-14. Devils gold 3-1-19 here at Prospect Park on a, on a gloomy afternoon. Ball back in the middle. Good contest in, the, in there. Good run through the middle. Knocks the ball forward. Smith Loon and Johnson there. Knocks the ball forward. Morrison again. Terrific. Terrific to find. The guy out on the wing now, couldn't see who it was, but the ball gets knocked forward. Ball in dispute, good forward pressure from Gold. Husband there applying some pressure. Here he is again, swings onto his right. Good spoil, ball in dispute. Terrific pick up from... Couldn't see who that was either. Ball comes out. Terrific play from, from young Max, 19 there. Hughes brings the ball forward. Jack Morrison again, swings onto his right, brings the ball into the top of the square. They spoil each other, the black. Umpire says that's holding the footy. Spread and defend, find someone. Ball gets, oh, good spoil, terrific. Put his head in the hole. 
onto the left foot. No mark. Ball gets rushed through for behind. Lock it in. Spread out. Spread. And the ball gets leave, leave, leaves the 50. French brings the ball forward. Ball in dispute. Oliver to sing line. Back to Oliver. Kicks the ball forward. Ball off hands. And Will Free. Will Free has just kicked an absolute ripper. On the right foot, he's just picked it up cleanly below his knees, swung it onto the right foot over the shoulder. And as we watch the ball come forward, there was just a good, good representation from Gulliver, who was able to provide a contest, flick the ball out, pick the ball up cleanly, did free, and then just straight over the goal umpire's hat. So we've seen some quite attacking play. 4-2-26 is gold. 2-2-14 is black. And both both teams are providing plenty of opportunities for their forwards and are finishing their work. Ball back to the middle we go. Both Ruckman go at it. Ball gets knocked forward by Farrow. The foot race is on. French first to it. Swings onto his right. Ball smothered. In dispute the ball is. Who's first to it? Looks like it's it's guard. Guard misses it. Farrow back after his work again. Ball bouncing around in there. Who can get their hands on it? The black can first. Gets the footy moving forward, does Conky. And it'll trickle out of bounds over in the far outer wing pocket. Under the light tower once again. And we'll have a throw in late in this first quarter. Gold up 26 to 14 to black. Ball gets knocked down by the Ruckman. Ball in dispute, quick hands, flicks it over the top. Gold set up well behind the football. Who can win it? Good tackle pressure. Ball still in dispute. That knock-on surge mentality from both teams. Ball's pinning around. Who can get their hands on it first? Isaiah Stone was able to kick the ball forward. Good contest in the air. Glover missed, missed the opportunity. Sterling had a crack at it. Boys are putting their heads over the footy. Who can grab it cleanly? The umpire says, I'm going to have a look at throwing it up. Ten metres out, directly in front from the Devil's, Devil's Black goal line. Did he drag it? Play on, the umpire says. Glover had a shot on goal, just just missed across to the far right hand side. Two minutes to go in this first quarter. They play on out of defence, look to kick it long down the line. Good presence in the air, off hands, says the umpire. Kicks the ball down the centre wing. The foot race is on. Ball in dispute. And the umpire says, I'll have it. So the boys have had a, a pretty attacking first quarter from both sides. Plenty of goals being kicked considering the conditions. Boys are wrestling their way. Good tackle there. Umpire says, I'll have it again. So he throws it up right on the centre wing. Drive the ball forward. Great hands there from Glover. Touch ball off the boot. It's into a dangerous spot. Who can get their hands on it first? Where's the small forwards? Just got to be clean. Umpire says, no, nah, hands into the back. And Conky will grab it. Gives a handball receive. Dangerous area to turn the ball over because you're, you're exposed out the back. Great mark from Smith Loon who just waltzes in and puts it through. So just a just an unfortunate skill area coming out of defence. Just a, it's a you know that attacking part of the ground where you just can't afford to turn the ball over because I think the ball will just repeat back inside. And the defenders aren't able to set up beyond the ball and 
fortunately for Smith Loon, he was able to get his hands on the ball and put it through with only 20 seconds remaining. Devils Black 3-3-21 to gold 4-2-26. And that'll be about all we will have for this first quarter here in Prospect Park. Umpire says we'll throw it up, punch it out of the middle. Can they get a mark? Just with only a couple of seconds to go, ball goes forward. And there it is. End of the first quarter here at Prospect Park. What's been a really entertaining first quarter in the dark, gloomy conditions here. Devils Black 3-3-21, three, three, just down to Devils Gold 4-2-26. Been some terrific play here in this first quarter from Gold. Whitney, Morrison, Guard and Singline have been prominent. For Devils Black, we've had Beams, Radcliffe, Farrow and Glover who have all had uh, really meaningful com contributions in this first quarter in, in what has been a, a relatively high score and considering the conditions we'll be back in just a moment. So welcome back, those viewers that are checking in here, Duff TV, for our under-14 boys game here at Prospect Park. In what is looking like, we are only moments away from getting some heavy rain here. But at the moment, what we have been able to see is a really productive quarter from both both sides here. Devils Gold 4-2-26 in front to Devils Black 3-3-21. And there was some really a good attacking play through the middle of the ground. And also the, the ability for Black to be able to fight their way back into that first quarter with just being able to get some repeat 50 entries and, uh, and hit the scoreboard. So we're about to kick off second quarter. Duff TV, Darren Crawford calling your action this afternoon the best I can <laughs> and uh, the umpire says there's uh, a little bit of activity going on on the field or well, 666 it was and the uh, umpire said free kick and play on so the ball moves forward for the Devils Devils Black great mark there from Ratcliffe coming out of centre half forward he wheels onto his right foot kicks the ball to attack, attacking 50 there and Chase Oliver 
takes a nice mark, who swings onto his right, moves the footy forward to Whitney. He looks to wheel and go nice and quickly to Free. Free does the exact same thing. He wheels onto his right, moves the ball forward. Unlucky mark there from Husband, who just dropped the, dropped the mark. Good, good forward work there from Wheeler, who was able to trap the footy in. And a solid tackle there from Cubitt. So the Ruckman go at it. Good contest in the air. Boys crack in there at the contest. Black surged the ball out of defence. Good tackle there. Moves the ball forward. 24. The big fella Smith knocked it out of there and drove the ball forward. Conky there in a really productive position as a half back, trying to mark the ball, which we love to see. And the umpire says, I'll throw it up right in the centre of the ground. So our two ruckmen go at it. They're battling away really strong into a. Who's that there? It's a really good mark. Looks to move the footy off the line, which is, again, a really productive way to move the ball. Just keep shifting it off the line rather than down the line. Good pace there from, from Dawkins, who moves the ball forward. Bit of a scrappy old kick. Good tackle there. Ball in dispute. Great pick up there from Johnston, the big fella. He's got to get rid of it. Umpire says you're too slow. And a great, great tackle there from Aldridge. He looks to, to wheel and go and get the footy out to the open side. It's, it could bounce anyway. It does. Beam sockers it off the ground. Ball in dispute. Great tackle there from Whitney. And we're in the defensive half there for the gold. So they should be looking to man on. Black here should be looking to make some space to allow their forwards an opportunity to go to work. Ball at the top of the square. Where's the... Has he got it out of the umpire? Oh. And there it is. Glover. Glover's just kicked a rip and goal. Just pure forward, forward pressure that came from. And, uh, yeah, after everything that's happened in the first quarter, Devils Black have now hit the front. Up by a solitary point. You could just see there they were fighting away. Umpire, the Devils goal boys looked around for the umpire to call call the ball up but you got to play it out to the whistle and Glover was able to pick it up and kick a, kick a terrific goal right on the goal line for the black the ball back to the middle 4-3-27 versus gold 4-2-26 thrown up in the middle the Ruckman go at it great tackle there from Mannion, ball spills free the goal drive the ball to the top of the square ball in dispute who can win it? Black have got numbers. Spins the footy out to the open side. No mark in the air. Good, good pick up. Terrific there. Just knock it on, son. He does. Out to, out to Lincoln Wilcock who picks it up. He's, the ball spills free. Back in transition. Where is it? There it is. Whitney again. He has the footy. He's moved on to his left. Ball in dispute. Bailey. Came through, but it was Farrow comes off half back. Johnson provided a really strong presence in the air. Good follow-up work. Ball, ball on the deck. Sterling loses the ball in tackle. Devils Black have got numbers. Ball moving deep forward. Trouble here with Hazelwood. Picks it up. Slaps, snaps on his right, and he's kicked it. So Lucas Hazelwood from Olveston, terrific pick up. The ball was just moving forward at a rapid knot for the black and the yellow, the gold I should say, just wasn't able to get numbers behind the footy to be able to come forward to defend. And it's always tough for a defender when you're running back towards goal. And Hazelwood was able to finish off the work with a really classy finish. And we look at the lights that are just glowing at the moment keeping us going here at Prospect. And uh, the, the Black have kicked away. 5-3, 33 to gold, 4-2, 26. Five minutes into this second quarter. Back in the middle we go, we restart. Ruckman go at it, slightly off centre. Ball in dispute, quick hands there. It's gonna come back inside. Black's attacking 50. No mark there, quick handball. Ball, solid tackle there from Aldridge. Umpire says play on. Ball moves out to the outer wing. Whose foot race is on? Mannion's there, and so is 
So is O'Brien. He kicks the footy long forward. Good attack off half back. He's, he's Redmond. He goes without it. Farrow has it. He's he's missed it. Great tackle there again from. Can't quite see. Oh, that was an interesting handball. Play on there, though, says the umpire. Whitney kicks the ball forward for gold. He drives the footy long. Has it been touched? Oh, it's just gone through. Just passed. Oh, it's hit the post, says the goal umpire. And uh, Whitney just almost was able to ping it from outside 50. So the ball gets restart from F Smith Loon, who drives the footy out well outside 50. Onto Wilcock, who swings onto his left. Dangerous area to turn it over once again. Ball in dispute. Umpire says that's holding the footy. You dropped it. And a good tackle there. Ball, ball moves to the outer wing. Just need to look to try and find some possession. Just goes long, does Glover. Aerial contest. Great, great effort from Oliver. Ball off the deck. Moves the ball forward. Just centre half forward. T terrific tackle from Pringle. Uh, great hands from Pringle. Ball moving forward. 17. Who's that? That's French. Great, great attack, French. Oh, great tackle there from J Jamison Clark. Umpire said no. Play on. Drives the footy out, out wide towards our interchange. Bench side. Whitney has it again. Great handball. Great link up through there to Clark. He dishes the handball back to Graham, who comes even further aside to Russell. Russell swings onto his right, hits a dangerous area. Oh, and terrific mark from Henderson, who swings onto his left, drives the footy long deep towards the outer, outer pocket. Who can mark it? And a terrific mark there from Isaiah Stone. Got very close to the man on the mark. Play on though, says the umpire. Young fella there has a bounce. Who is it? 16, it's Dawkins. Dawkins looks to bring the footy back inside. Good play there. Was able to find Fuzang. Moves the footy forward to French. French handballs the ball. Good runoff half back from Dawkins once again. He drives the footy out to the outer wing. There's, there's Feisner who swings onto his right. He's had plenty of the footy this quarter. He runs to 50. Drives the footy forward. Drop mark there from Glover. He finishes, picks up his own work. He's still going. Ball in dispute. Sterling has a ping on goal. Can goal get it through? They do. They rush it through from behind. And black 33, gold 28. Ball gets brought out of defence very, very quickly from gold. Black is set up really well behind the footy. Ball gets moved into the centre of the ground. There's plenty of space there. Great tackle, though, from Farrow. Wins his own ball, tackles, wins it back. Handballs the footy wide. Goes again to Farrow. He's in trouble now. Play on, though, says the umpire. Moves the footy towards the outer, outer pocket. Out of flank, I should say. Good pressure there from Clark. Morrison wins the footy. Great handball again. Great link up from gold. Into an attacking 30 metres out from goal. No one can mark. He's still going. He's Bailey. Bailey swings onto his right. And a terrific mark into the forward pocket is Wesley Redman from Burnie. And he's going to take his time and go back and have a shot on goal. You can just see he, was just, he just read the flight of the footy coming in. He swings around Stevie J style. And the umpire says he's just pushed it just right of the goal post. And it goes through for one behind. So good good forward work, good forward craft there from Redmond. Just read the flight of the footy coming in. Ball gets all oh, hands in the back there. I think from French tried to take a hanger. Umpire, did he pay advantage? He has. And that is a terrific finish from young Jack Morrison from South Lonnie. There was just a hand in the back there from French who tried to take a hanger. And umpire had paid advantage. We see the ball come out. You see there, he comes up, tries to take a hanger. Ball gets spilt free. And apologies, it was actually Whitney who uh, who finished the work. Ice, ice finish. Just was able to just to steady from sort of 40 metres out. Tough kick into the or in, with the breeze, and uh, and was able to slot it through. Goal back in front, 35 to 33. Ball get, leaves the centre, almost the centre area. Good work there from Singline in the ruck. 
tried to follow up his own work. Ball comes into top of the square, top of centre half forward, black. Ball in dispute, surge it forward. Great handball there from Sterling. Sterling across to Holmes. Holmes has a flying shot on goal. And it's over in the, the out of bounds on the full. Golda got the footy, bringing it back towards the interchange bench side. Aldridge got dumped as he kicked it. And a great mark there from Whitney, who's literally bought his own footy today. He drives the footy along the outer wing. Again, great handball from Mannion. Great link up. The boys are sharing the footy. Kicks the footy forward as gold. And a terrific mark there from Aidan Bailey from New Norfolk. So it was all set up from just quick quick transition from defence from the gold who went coast to coast. Quick, quick exit from D50. Got the footy moving along the wing. Great link up by hand. And then a great finish as well from Bailey who slots it straight over the goal umpire's hat. So all of a sudden the gold have just wrestled back a bit of momentum here middle stages of this second quarter. And uh, you can just see here they just linked up by hand, good handball chain and then just that long kick going inside 50 and he just read it off the, hand, off the boot really well did Bailey. You can see that the ball was dropping quite quickly. Uh, and as all good forwards do, play in front, you'll get the rewards. So the gold, they go to 6-4-40 and black of 5-4-34 with uh, approximately sort of seven, seven and a half minutes to go here in this second quarter. So the great tap down there and just streaming out of the middle is French who kicks the ball long towards the forward line and a terrific contested mark from Ratcliffe. So there was some real dominance there from the centre bounce and a great great centre clearance there from from French, you know, streaming out the front of the stoppage. You can see that, again, he was just able to read it in the air was Ratcliffe. He's a big boy, goes back 25 metres out. Beautiful shot on goal. That goal umpire did not move. So, again, some this is some real free-flowing football from both sides. And it was terrific to see the Black able to respond after a couple of goals in a row to gold. So, again, a real presence in the air has has uh, a lot of the, the black forwards. Glover and Farrow and, and now, and now uh, Ratcliffe as well being able to really provide some headaches for uh, for the gold defenders in the air. So back to the middle we go. She's all square, 40, 40 apiece. And uh, sing line will go up again in the ruck. Umpire throws it up. Good tap, knocks it down. Morrison gets the clearance. Brings the ball forward, no mark, off hands. Again, good link up by handball. Quick hands there from Russell. Spits it through. Husband has a flying shot on goal. And pulled it across to the left-hand side for one behind. Again, centre clearance is all important. Ball gets exited from the D50. Good mark there from Feisner. He brings the football into an attacking position of the ground. Great, great kick there to, to French, who wheels onto his right and goes longer out towards the centre wing. Beams goes to ground. Umpire says no free kick. Play on. Ball in dispute. Ball moved, moving forward. Set up well behind the football is gold. Good from Oliver. Quick, quick hands. Again to Conkey, providing some good runoff half back. The big ruckman sing line on his hands and knees. Gets a handball moving forward. Dangerous forwards there for, for the de defenders for Black. Providing, you know, a real presence being in front of their opponent. Moving the football is, is Whitney. Ball comes back forward. Great defence there from, from Blewett. Blewett spoils the football. Ball, on, ball in dispute. Umpire says that's high. And Farrow will go back and wheels onto his right and gets the ball out of there, attacking 50. Ball goes over his head to Stone. Stone misses the mark. Ball's coming back, I feel. Great, great handball there to, to Aldridge. Umpire says that's holding the footy. And Holmes will take the free kick. Holmes drives the footy to centre forward, just onto the far outer wing. No mark there from French. French handballs the footy across. 
Terrific handball there from Gold. Gold swings onto the right, brings the football into the middle of the ground. There's William Free, umpire says play on, and now holding the football. So a smart play there from Feisner. He's had a really, really good quarter. Where does he go? He wheels onto the right and drives the footy long to about 30 metres out from goal. Backing back with the pack was Oliver, put his head in the hole. Great play there from Oliver. Again, that's Josh Oliver. Good run off half back. Drives the footy long towards his, his, his teammate in Clark. Clark gives a handball off. The ball goes deep forward. The foot race is on. Who's going to win there first? Smith Loom was first to the ball. Tucks it under his arm. Drives the footy outside. The defensive 50, no mark there from from Smith. Smith was able to pick it up to Beams. Lovely little kick from Beams. Links up, give, give him the footy. He doesn't. He runs past, but he found a target inside 50, and there's French. So Will French will go back from South Launceston, and he's going to have a look at putting the Devils Black back in front once again. So you can see here there was just some really good hands from the Ruckman. Got it to Beams. Lovely little left foot from Beams. And... Kicks the ball forward, pushes across to the right hand side for one point. So French just not quite able to put it through the big sticks, but was able to square things up again. 41 apiece. Lovely kick there from, from Clark, who drives the footy forward. Balls into the attacking part of the ground. There's Beams again. Great handball to the big Ruckman, who just was able to let the footy spill. Pressure moving forward from, from Black. So the Gold have got the ball. Morrison onto his left, puts it into a dangerous position. No mark for Gold. Where can, who can win it? Who can be first in? It was uh, it was Husband who was able to get it first, but now the footy's coming out of defence from Dawkins. Good forward pressure from Gold. And Whitney swings onto his right, can see something into the forward pocket, was able to lower his eyes and find Beerman from Brighton. So again, some really polished ball use from Gold through Whitney and Wheeler and Morrison and a co. When the ball was in their hands, more often than not, they've been able to make it count. So Beerman goes back in the pocket. Umpire does a bit of work. I think he's hit the woodwork. Yes, he has. So the, that post is moving. It's not from the wind. It, uh, it's from the footy. So, again, gold back in front. Seesawing affair we have here on our Thursday afternoon. Ball leaves the 50. No mark. Good pressure there. Oliver first to it. Ball smothered, ball in dispute. Where is it? There it is, it's bouncing around. Boys are cracking in. Quick handball there. Out to Mannion, he's, he's kicks are smothered. Again, there's there's Aldridge. He's a big boy, he's strong. He's, he's gonna win it back. Great link up from Aldridge. He gives another handball to, to Wheeler. Wheeler has a flying shot on goal. And not quite, didn't quite make the distance. Ball still in a really dangerous position. There it is. And that's a goal. That is a terrific goal. So, again, some really, really solid play from Mannion, Mannion and, uh, and Guard. They're all getting involved in that sort of link up and that chain of play. And uh, they were just able to get a, a really good finish. So, you can see there Aldridge, he was able to get the old one, two. And then uh, Wheeler drove the footy in long. And you can just see there some real good craft there from Gulliver who was able to just to swing onto the right and, uh, and and just finish really, really, really well. So good forward, forward work from the gold. And uh, we're back to the middle we go. So the Ruckman go at it again. There's a centre clearance out of the front of the stoppage. Does the black team. Forwards in front didn't, didn't have the footy. Yeah, you can see the pull on the jumper. And he'll go back, I reckon, and have a shot on goal. Will Lucas Hazelwood, he's already kicked one, I think, this afternoon. What's he going to do? He looks like that jumper of his is he's kicking right into it, right into the teeth of the breeze. It's a lovely shot on goal. That looks like that ball's going backwards in the air. And uh, the ball's just been pushed to that outer wing pocket. And uh, we'll have a, a boundary throw in with only seconds remaining. Can there be a free kick here in the ruck contest? Probably should have been. But the umpire says that's time. 
So Devil's goal will go into the halftime break in front, 7-6-48 to Devil's Black, 6-5-41. And what's been a really entertaining first half of footy here at Prospect Park, considering the conditions, very blowy to one end. But both teams have had their, had their opportunities to score through some really attacking play. Whitney, Free, Wheeler and Morrison amongst the uh, real prominent players and husband for, uh, for Devil's Gold, whilst uh, for Devil's Black, Lucas Hazelwood uh, has been prominent, as has Will French, Dawkins French, Connor, Connor French, that is, and, uh, and certainly Sebastian Farrow um, with the big ruckman, Logan Smith, doing some good work as well. So we look forward to catching up with you again in the second half here at Prospect Park. Once again, the score, gold, 48, black, 41. Breeze working to the left of screen. Comes out, contests the footy. Showing good speed there as Russell drives it long and he's slotted it through. Great goal from Benjamin Russell from Lindisfarne. And they're on the board. One goal, 0 6 to goal. Black yet to score. So just come forward by around. No real clean possession. There's one there. Kicks the ball forward, centre half forward. And he has it again. He's brought his own football. Kicks the ball to, center, to the top of the square. Oh, great set of hands. Terrific mark from Husband from Prospect. He's in the air again. Oh, terrific mark again. He's looked to share the footy off. Boys are lining up. And there's another one. So Mason Whitney was out on that far side. The ball got shifted from Husband. Great, great team football bringing each other into the game. It's what we like to see, particularly in these trial games. It's, it's all about sharing the footy, bringing your teammates into the game. And he was able to do that. Great finish in the end. Ball's in dispute, knocked out. Blew it, surges the ball forward. Great attack, there's a free kick. Put his head over the ball, Jake Beams swings onto his left, much like his old man. Great link up there from, from the Devils Black. Drive the ball forward, gets it forward to a one-on-one. -on -one. Goal umpire says all clear. So some terrific play there, particularly set up from Jake Beams. Swung onto his left foot. This is on. Dawkins will, will almost be there. Wheeler's beat him to it. Good attack on the ball. The boys are throwing themselves in at the contest. Who can win it? Morrison's there. Ball comes forward. And that's a terrific contested mark by Radcliffe. Oliver. To sing line. Back to Oliver. Kicks the ball forward. Ball off hands. And Will Free. Will Free. Oliver. Touch ball off the boot. It's into a dangerous spot. Who can get their hands on it first? Where's the small forwards? <laughs> Just got to be clean up high. Says no nah, hands into the back. And Conky will grab it. Gives a handball receive. Dangerous area to turn the ball over because you're, you're exposed out the back. Great mark from Smith Loon who just waltzes in. Makes some space to allow their forwards an opportunity to go to work. Ball at top of the square. Where's the... Has he got it out of the umpire? Oh. And there it is. Glover. Glover's just kicked a rip and goal. Just pure forward, forward pressure. Yeah. Sterling loses the ball in tackle. Devils Black have got numbers. Ball moving deep forward. Trouble here with Hazelwood. Picks it up, slaps, snaps on his right, and he's kicked it. So Lucas Hazelwood from Olveston. Good say good pressure there from Clark. Morrison wins the footy. Great handball again. Great link up from goal. Into an attacking 30 metres out from goal. No one can mark. He's still going. He's Bailey. Bailey swings onto his right. And a terrific mark into the forward pocket is Wesley with the goal post. And it goes through for one behind. So good. Good forward work, good forward craft there from Redmond. Just read the flight of the footy coming in. 
Ball gets all oh, hands in the back there. I think from French tried to take a hanger. Umpire, did he pay advantage? He has. And that is a terrific finish from young Jack Morrison from South Lonnie. There was just a hand in the back there from French who tried to take a hanger. The out of bounds on the full. Golder got the footy, bringing it back towards the interchange bench side. Aldridge got dumped as he kicked it. And a great mark there from Whitney who's literally bought his own footy today. He drives the footy along the outer wing. Again, great handball from Mannion. Great link up. The boys are sharing the footy. Kicks the footy forward as gold. And a terrific mark there from Aidan Bailey from New Norfolk. So it was all set up from just quick quick transition from defence from the gold who went coast to coast. Quick, quick exit from D50. Got the footy moving along the wing. Great link up by hand and then a great finish as well from Bailey who slots it straight over the goal umpire's hat. So all of a sudden the gold have just wrestled back a bit of momentum here middle stages of this second quarter. And uh, you can just see here they just linked up by hand. Good handball, great tap down there. And just streaming out of the middle is French who kicks the ball long towards the forward line and a terrific contested mark from Ratcliffe. So there was some real dominance there from the centre bounce and a great great centre clearance there from from French, you know, streaming out the front of the stoppage. You can see that again, he was just able to read it in the air with Ratcliffe. He's a big boy, goes back 25 metres out. Beautiful shot on goal. That goal umpire did not move. So again, some this is some real free-flowing football from both sides. And it was terrific to see the Black able to respond after a couple of goals in a row to gold. So again, a real presence in the air. Has has a ball smothered, ball in dispute. Where is it? There it is, it's bouncing around. Boys are cracking in. Quick handball there. Out to Mannion. He's he's kicks are smothered. Again, there's there's Aldridge. He's a big boy, he's strong. He's, he's gonna win it back. Great link up from Aldridge. He gives another handball to, to Wheeler. Wheeler has a flying shot on goal. And not quite. Didn't quite make the distance. Ball still in a really dangerous position. There it is. And that's a goal. That is a terrific goal. So again, some really, really solid play from Mannion. Got Mannion and uh, and Guard. They're all getting involved in that. And welcome back for this second half here at Prospect Park with the uh, with the rain starting to come down. Uh, the Devils Black Boys are out there pretty early, ready to go. And uh, the goal were just hanging into those chain rooms just for a little bit longer. However, they are now out, just waiting on the umpires who are making their way slowly out onto the ground. So we're just looking back at that scoreboard. Devils gold, 7-6-48 play the Devils Black 6-5-41 in what's been a really solid first half of footy from both sides. The game really could be in the balance at this stage. Not not one side has had probably more of the footy than the other, so you'd be looking at those key indicators around the contested footy and, you know, handball chain from stoppage and all that kind of um, elements to the game have been pretty even across the board. And uh, we look forward to seeing what this second half has in store. Been some pretty good efforts through the, through the ruck from both sides. They've been doing a terrific job uh, with both teams getting on top and having their moment, moments throughout both quarters. Um, and uh, we'll see see how the game plays out. With the uh, umpire about to throw it up, second half, we're underway here on Duff TV with Darren Crawford calling the action this afternoon. Ball, ball in dispute, quick, quick, quick hands there. Wrapped up in a tackle, nice solid tackle there from Smith again, who's been doing a terrific job following up his work at ground level, ball in dispute. 
comes forward there again. He is, he's had a good good first half as Dawkins. Dawkins knocks the footy forward. Kicks it kicks it along to himself. Does does Redmond Redmond ball? He goes without it. Quick kick there forward once again from Dawkins. Ball moves forward. Great play there from Glover. Glover kicks the ball deep into it. He's attacking 50. Drop mark there from from guard. Guard misses the footy. The rain's starting to absolutely bucket down at now at Prospect, which is what we expected. There was plenty on the on the radar this afternoon. At around sort of three o'clock, and we look at the time, she's uh, 3.26. So it's just a little bit later than predicted into the attacking forward half for Black. Ball gets thrown in. Goes over both Ruckman's head. Great handball there. Ball in dispute. Solid tackle there. Knocks the footy forward. A bit, little bit greasy now. Who can get their hands on the footy first? Quick, quick fire on goal. Ball still hasn't quite gone through. Great play there from, from Johnston, who was able just to keep working really hard to hold that footy inside his forward 50, but it just trickled through for one behind. And Josh Oliver will bring the footy out of the fence. Finds an uncontested mark in Man Mannion. Mannion finds, again, another uncontested mark. This is good play from Gold. Gold finds the footy again, bringing the full ball along the centre wing. Drop mark there from Fizno. Just let the balls trickle out over, over the boundary line. The umpire says throw it in in the attacking sort of half of the ground for Black. Looks like they've got plenty of numbers around this contest. Ball's thrown in. Ball comes to the forward half, forward part of that stoppage. Who can get their hands on it first? The ball's spilling forward. No real team can get, the, get their hands on it first. Just that sort of knock-on, surge-on mentality for both sides. Ball's a bit greasy. Good play there from from Oliver and Husband, who link up with hand, brings the footy into this attacking part of the ground. Great play there from French, who kicks the footy forward. No mark there from, from Radcliffe. Jones has it again, kicks the footy forward. No mark from Redmond. Redmond's going to be first onto it. No, he's not. It was Farrow. Farrow kicks the footy long to that 20 metres out, directly in front. No mark there from Johnston, who's still fighting away for it. Where's the smalls? All the bigs are doing the work. Ball still in dispute. Good tackle there. French wasn't able to win it. Quick handball there from Hughes. Onto his left foot was Duffy. That was smothered. He has another go. No mark. Ball in dispute. Still, still surge it on. Morrison has it. Almost was in the back. And Conky clears it out of defence. And the ball will trickle out over the over the line. It probably did come off the foot. What does the umpire says? No, we'll throw it in. Back into that attacking half forward flank area for Devils Black. You can sort of see there. It, did, it actually did. The umpire changed his decision and said, "Gold, you can have it." Ball goes through his hands. That was Smith. Tough marking conditions for the for the boys out there now. The rain is streaming down. Great play there from Mannion. Kicks the ball out to the open side. Terrific pick up there from Dawkins. He's been attacking off half back. Drives a footing long towards the attacking top of the goal square. Ball bouncing through. They're going to knock it through, are they? Yes, they do. And the ball trickles through for one behind there for Black. So 43 plays gold, 48. And the ball will come out from Chase. Chase Oliver kicks the ball wide towards Free, who was able to spill the mark. Ball is very slippery. She's like a cake of soap. Boys diving on the footy. Good tackle pressure. And Hughes was able to kick a ball forward into the top of the goal square. And the ball goes through for one behind once again. So the, the Devils Black are peppering the goal line and the scoreboard at that end. And Josh Oliver again will bring the footy out of defence. Goes to the other side this time. No mark there from Henderson. Connor French will just knock the ball over the line, will he? No, he won't. Yes, he is. He, and he was able to get his result, what he was after, and that was to get the ball out of bounds and let the Ruckman go at it again and keep that footy in there forward half. So Black, once again, just keeping the footy locked in there half of the ground. The two Ruckman go at it. They've been doing it all day. No tap there. Ball in dispute. Great pick up there from Bailey. Bailey links up again to, almost to himself. 
Good tackle, good follow-up again. He's still on, on his hands and knees. He pushes him off. Good play there from Bailey. Kicks the footy moving forward. And it just trickles out of out of bounds. And one umpire will throw it in right into the heart of the Devil's Black forward line in that forward pocket. She's in the right end for them. What can the goal do to get that footy out of that end of the ground? She's Umpire says no free kick. Ball in dispute, kicks the footy out. There's Chase Oliver. Umpire says that's a free kick. Congo will have the have a free kick. He's a beautiful left foot kick. He's had plenty of the footy today as Congo. He swings onto his left. No mark there from Connor French. Ball in dispute. Where is it again? Knock it on. He does. Great pick up. Kicks the footy long deep, back into attacking 50 there. The race, the foot race is on. Pringle was first to it, but he watches it just trinkle out of bounds. He picks it up and gives the footy back to their boundary umpire who will throw it in. Boy's got trying conditions out there this afternoon. Got the lights on, she's dark, she's pouring with rain, but this is tazzy weather, and these boys will certainly be loving the opportunity to be playing in this rep game today. So the ball goes in, good good pick up there from Farrow. Farrow knocks the footy forward, surge it on again. No mark there from Singline, he misses the footy, goes through his hands. Good follow up there, work there from the big Ruckman. Good tackle! That's a high, no it's not, umpire says he ducked his head, play on. Great pick up there from Morrison, very clean. Greasy conditions. Body lines the footy, does Russell. Russell goes without it and Ball trickle out of, out of bounds and Isaiah Stone will throw the footy back to the umpire again. So just a bit of a stalemate here late or early in this first first half of this third quarter, 44 to 48, gold in front. Great tap down there. Great handball again. Boys are using the footy considerably well, considering the conditions. Knocks the footy, he's sitting over it. Um, what's the umpire going to do? He's still sitting over it. What's he going to do? Ball spills free. Great pick up there from Mannion. Mannion gets the footy out to Congwa. He's going to swing onto that left. He, he does. The ball smothered. Ball in dispute once again. Knock it out of there. He does. Sebastian H H Henderson taps it forward. Good pick up there from Mannion again. He gets the footy moving forward. Penny has the ball. Gave a good handball. Clearing kick. Moves the footy, smothered off the boot. Rain teaming down. Farrow has it again. He surges it forward. They got numbers ahead of the ball. Has Black dropped the footy, did Morrison. Morrison has another go. But it was Dawkins who just snipped out the back. He drives the footy long towards the, the goal square. He pings at it from 60. And it just comes across towards the left-hand side of the goal post and it goes through for one behind. So really good attacking play there. Some real good forward craft from Dawkins who was playing that high half forward row. He just spat out and was able to have a, a shot on goal. Good contest there from Taylor. Taylor knocks the footy forward. Back in it goes and the umpires will, will throw it in. So once again, Devils Black are just locking that footy in. So to kick out, goes short, finds his target, finds Mannion. Mannion plays on, must have been touched off the boot. The big Ruckman, Smith, on the left. He, what's the umpire called there? I think it's a, it's a holding. And it's Dawkins again from Prospect. He's had plenty of the ball. He looks to go short. And he's fine beams on his left foot. Oh, and he's just pushed it across to the right, so the boys are having some opportunities. They're just not quite finishing their work. Ball goes back to Josh Oliver. He's been tasked with the kicking out duties this afternoon. Brings the footy towards the, the interchange bench side. Who can pick it up first? Great handball there. Ball spills free, and it trickles out of bounds. So Black have had their opportunities to hit the scoreboard this quarter. Just haven't been able to finish their work going inside 50. And the momentum is all with them, but can they put the score on the board while they have this wind? Ball goes down, great spot there from Morrison. Morrison, quick handball. 16 was Dawkins, he, he brings the footy forward again. The ball's going to trickle out of bounds with that wind pushing over into that pocket. And Conkey will pick it up, he handballs it to the boundary umpire, will throw it in. Plenty of numbers forward 
in this forward half of the ground. Not many much back centre of the gold attacking 50 way. Ball moves forward out off the off the hands of the ruckman. Ball spills free. The big ruckman couldn't pick it up. Slipping over there was was free free. Ball's in dispute. Farrow picks it up. Strong in the tackle. Great handball there from Morrison. Gets the footy moving forward. Dives in after his own work. Wasn't able to pick it up. Glover didn't have the footy, or did he? Umpire said, yes, he did. That's holding the footy. Great tackle there from Chase Oliver, who then looks to move the footy through the middle of the corridor. Terrific mark. Can they keep the ball in motion? Yes, they can. Kicks the footy moving forward. Terrific mark there from Husband. What's he going to do? He pushes back quickly off his mark. Hits the top of the goal square. And a terrific mark there from Whitney. So some real good play there from Devils Gold, who was just able to keep the ball in motion and get that foot, football moving forward to a one-on-one. -on -one. And you can see there that it was it was tough from Fires. Now, he was going back. And it was obviously really tough for him to obviously read that flight of the ball in. And Whitney, who's been damaging today, will go back. He'll have a shot on goal. He leans back on it and just goes through for one behind. Just didn't quite kick, kick through the footy. He just leaned back on it. Got to get that momentum moving forward. And out the other side, they'll go Will Black. So they exit the D50. Great kick. Terrific kick there. And Duffy will have it. He swings onto his right. He moves the footy moving forward. Drop mark there from Wood, Woolcock. Goes after it again. Hasn't got it. Or yes, he has. That's holding the footy, says uh, says the ump. And Radcliffe was holding the footy. Great tackle. He looks to switch the footy into an attacking area. O'Brien has it. He looks to go wide to Congwa. And the footy's going to trickle out of bounds. Does it or no, it doesn't. He sidesteps him. Terrific play. Great handball. Where's he go? Oh, and it's still in him. No, it's not. He can't believe it either. And the ball will just be thrown in. Centre wing, far side. Some good play by Kongwa. He's been damaging today on that left foot of his. And uh, the ball will be thrown in. Heath Stonehouse, Queechy High School boy over there, throwing the footy in. Good throw too. Tosses it in. Ball's ball in dispute. Redmond couldn't pick it up. But Dawkins could. He's still after it. Great handball again. Umpire says that's hold, holding the jumper. And Jacob, Jacob Taylor will have it. Anthony Taylor's son l kicks the footy wide into the pocket. Finds a good target. Great kick there from Taylor to find Dawkins. Dawkins gets it. Swings onto his right. Peppers the football back into the top of the square. Where's the smalls? There they are. Woolcock was there. He dived on it. He couldn't grab it. Fulsang was there. He, he had it. Had a shot on goal and goes through for one behind. So again, getting their opportunities. They just haven't been able to put the score on the board. So exit from D50. Great mark there from Free. Free looks to move the footy, keep it going. He does. Good kick there and he finds he finds Russell. Russell looks to go in board. This is that attacking kick. Now what they do. He's found Redmond. Redmond swings onto his right, keeps the ball moving forward. This is where you can catch the defenders out. Good spot there from Beerman. Beerman handballs the footy. Who's he got? He's got Clark. Clark again. What's the umpire play on, he says. Knock it out of there. He does. He has another go. Knocks the footy forward. Good pick up there. No, he just taps it out. Does free. Ball comes forward. There's no mark. Whitney will be first onto the scene. He is. He's going to pepper the football. Oh, he lowers the eyes very, very well when he was able to find Russell. So that was very intelligent play from Whitney. You can just see he faked the handball, he lowered the eyes, and he was able to find that target inside 50. So great play there. Russell will go back. He will have a shot. He's from Lindisfarne. He's, been, he's, had, a, he's had a good three quarters so far. Can he finish some work here for Devil's Gold to give them a little bit of a buffer? Comes in, sits it at the left-hand goal post. It pushes right across with that strong breeze. And it goes through for one behind. 7 8 50 plays Devils Black. 16 46. Duff TV. Ball comes out of defence. Kicks it long, but they set up well behind the football. Whitney has it. He looks to move the footy nice and quick. 
Kicks it back to centre forward. Great aerial contest there from from Feisner. He goes after it again. Does Hughes? Hughes gets a handball out to to Feisner, who follows up his own work. Kicks the ball forward. Great kick there to Glover. Glover wasn't able to mark. He gets the handball free. Tap it out. He does. He goes after it. Kicks the footy. That's holding the ball. Took too long. Great tackle there from from Oliver, who handballs off. Keeps the ball moving. Ball goes over his head. No mark there from Redmond. Beams was able to get the mo ball moving forward. She's into a dangerous spot. Who can win it? Ball on the deck, still greasy. Where is it? The ball's spilled out. Who's first on it? Beams was after it again. He dives on it. He looks for a free kick. Wasn't able to find one. Husband's been pushed into the fence. He's working overtime. Out to Mannion. Mannion clears the footy out wide. No mark there from Clark. Clark goes after it. He handballs the footy. Or does he? Umpire says yes, he does. Play on does Cubit. Cubit gets his handball free and the ball will trickle out of bounds. So some good attacking play from both sides. They're looking to move the footy nice and quick. They're still not going into their shell considering the conditions and the ball will be stuck over on that outer wing once again. So the two Ruckman go at it. Ball gets spilt down. Great pick up there from Conkey. who kicks the ball moving forward. Good spoil there from Sterling. He was able to get the ball on the deck. No mark. Ball on the deck. Quick handball out. Boys are diving in. Kicking it off the ground. They're trying everything to try and keep that ball moving. Where is it? Still there. No one able to pick it up. It's diving on the footy. She's tough Tazzy football now. Great pick up there from Fulzang. And the ball trickle out of bounds. Teaming down with rain here on a Thursday afternoon. Tri-series. North v or North and South combined teams for both. Gives these boys a great opportunity for their pathway and development moving forward into what will be a couple of exciting years moving ahead. Moving the ball out to that centre center wing area. No mark there. The ball was knocked forward again. And uh, the umpire will throw it in for the, probably the third time. We just look at that radar. She's not almost above us. Still probably got a little bit to go before she really starts to come down. And the ball's thrown in once again. So the ball gets kicked forward. She's set up well behind the footy. He's done that well as husband. He kicks the ball back from where it came from. But he was able to find a target. The boys move the footy moving forward. Kicks the ball long to the back of the press. No mark, though. It's in the right end for, for Gold. Ball in dispute. Just come off hands from French. And it was good play there from Russell. Just good forward pressure. He flicks the, ump the ball back to that umpire. He wants to try and get it in before all the numbers flood back. And it's up the right end of the ground now for Gold. Can they make use of this? Kicking into the breeze. First, first hands on it. Got his handball. Kicks it in forward. No mark there from Clark. It was. Kicks the footy forward. Cubic knocking it on. He's doing well. Trips over his own feet. Back after it again was Clark. He, he goes without it. Hughes kicks the ball forward. It's into a dangerous position. Woolcock kicks, tries to kick it off the ground. He missed it. Gets a handball out. Kicks it. Gives a handball to Johnston. And the big fella. He's able to slot it through. Terrific finish from, from Edward Johnston. And he's from Clarence. Great finish. He's, he's been prominent up forward. But it was great play. You can just see here, just after it was Woolcock. He tried to kick it off the ground. Then he got the, got the handball and brought his teammate into the action and was able to finish, finish some good work. Snapped it over the right hand, left hand shoulder and puts it through for Black, who now regained the lead here on that gloomy Thursday afternoon. Prospect Park, 17.52, plays 7.850. Duff TV with Darren Crawford. Been a really solid contest from both sides. And we've got 20 seconds remaining. Umpire blows his whistle. Could be a centre infringement. It is. 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Boys. Oh, he's kicked it. He's had, almost had a fresh airy. Did uh, Fulzang. He got, goes after it again. 
Farrow drives the footy forward. There's not long to go. Ball gets spilt free. And there's the siren. There's the siren. The boys go running in. They're keen to get in, get into the buckets of hot water. And uh, what's been a, a really entertaining quarter considering the conditions here at Prospect Park. Devils Black hit the lead late in that third term. 7-10-52 plays Devils Gold. 7-8-50. We'll be back with the final term here on Duff TV. Welcome back for the final term here at Prospect Park and what's been a really entertaining three quarters so far with uh, Devils Black holding a slight lead, 7-11-53, plays Devils Gold, 7-8-50. And we're going to be looking at sort of shortening this last term probably by a couple of minutes, I would say, just due to the conditions. She's really starting to come down. Looks like a bit of... Tough, tough afternoon for these boys, but they've been playing some really good footy. It's been some really solid contributors from both sides. And the umpire says we'll throw it up for the final, final quarter. Two ruckmen have been going at it all day. They go once again, comes off hands. Farrow was able to win it first. He hits the football moving forward for Black. Playing in front was Wilcock. Cops one in the head. Umpire says play on. Great play there from Husband. He's been prominent all, all day. Kicks the footy moving forward. Two black boys go at it. They clash. Ball spills free. Who can win it? Under the pump is Dawkins. He's playing. He's, it's two on three. He knocks it out of there. He's done really well. But it's into an attacking part of the ground. Terrific pick up there from Hughes. Kicks it out of there. Just full sang. No mark there. It's along the ground with Stone. Stone was able to miss it. Good pressure there from... Umpire says that's holding the footy. Terrific tackle there from Morrison. And the ball moves back in towards centre half forward. Congwa, he's got it. He swings onto that left, that damaging left foot. Drop mark, no mark there. Quick hand ball from Sterling. Under the pump, comes back onto the attacking side as Dawkins. No mark from Morrison. Ball spills free. Umpire says over the shoulder. And Morrison will take the free kick. 
He looks to move the ball pretty quick. Top of the goal square, no mark, comes off hands. Terrific spoil there from Glover. Knocks the footy moving forward. Who's going to win it? Who wants to pick it up? You guessed it. Husband kicks it over his shoulder. Ball spills free. Dawkins misses the handball. Drops the footy. Great handball again. Hughes is after it. Surging it on. Beerman was able to win it. Doesn't have the footy. Umpire says play on. Knocks it out of there. Ball just like a cake of soap at the moment. No one can really get a clean possession. Although Whit Morrison does. He kicks it to the top of the square. No mark. Comes off hands. Ball spills free. Who can pick it up? Flicks it out. They're just knocking it on. That's the way. Kick. Clear it out of the zone. Now the foot race is on. Bailey, Bailey's there, but first to it was French. French goes, tries to go again off the off the ground. Wasn't able to pick it up. Husband has it again. He tucks it under his arm, drives the footy moving forward. Devils Black have got numbers behind the footy. It slips out to the back. Umpire says that's a handball. That was questionable. Play on, he does. Knocks it out of there. Still doesn't have it. Penny doesn't. He's, he's after it. He's done well. He got the handball out to the open side. He found he found Fulzang. He kicks the ball forward. Conky's there. Great handball. Missed, it, missed his target. Brings the football back to the open side as Aldridge. And he finds his teammate in husband. He wheels. Good size is he. Kicks the footy moving forward. It's a bit of a scrubber. Farrow was there, missed, it, missed his target. Devils Blacks are running in numbers. Kicks it off the ground as Duffy. He found, he found Beams all alone on his own. And much like his old man, goes back and slots it. He just snuck out the back, did Beams. Left footer like his dad and he was able to finish his work going inside 50 with a really neat finish as Jake Beams. So you can just see there from Black, they just had numbers streaming forward. It was a three on two. And it made it really tough for the Devils goal defenders. So they get a little bit of a break, does the Black. 59 to 50, you can hear that rain. It's absolutely teeming down. And you look at that scoreboard, 59 plays 50. And we're four minutes into the last term. Back to the middle, we reset, we go again. Umpires throw it up. Um, two, two Ruckman contest, no one was a clear winner. The ball spills free, drives a footy forward, free kick. And it looks like Pringle will take the free kick. Kicks the ball, oh, he almost stubbed his toe. Tried to find Beams, missed him. Kicked it off the ground, did Pringle. He went back after it again, found Wilcock. Wilcock on the left, went forward. Into a really proactive position was Mannion. Great handball. He found he found husband who tucks it under his arm. He looks to drive the footy out of defence. Nice long kick. No mark off the hands. Ball spills free. Great pick up there from, from Russell again. He's had a good afternoon. He, and the ball trickle out of bounds. On the right half forward flank for Devil's Gold. And it's going to be thrown in. Who can get clear possession of the footy and who can lock it in there forward half for longer in this final term? No real clear possession. Congo was able to. He got a handball clear. No kick. No real clear possession. Although, as he's done for most of the day, Farrow was super clean. He was able to drive the footy out by foot out to that attacking side of the ground. Ball in dispute, who can win it? No real clear possession, although Aldridge was able to get his hands on the footy to find his teammate, terrific play. He found Congo on that left, he drives the footy forward. No mark, ball spills free. First onto it was Penny. Looked to handball the footy, she's nearly just kick it now. Pick it up and kick it, son, he, he tried. Congo picks it up, he'll kick it. And it was smothered off the boot. And the umpire will throw it in before Russell just runs over the line. And we'll throw it in on the left half forward flank for Devil's Gold. Two Ruckman go at it. 
Smith goes, knocks it down. Ball trinkles off, off hands and it'll be thrown in once again. So the two Ruckman have been going strong. They've done the bulk of the work today. Umpire throws it in. It's a short throw, throwing it into the teeth of the wind. Mason Whitney was first onto it. Flying shot on goal, goes through for one behind. And the Devils gold are going to be looking to try and trap this footy in their forward half, although the Devils Black moved the footy on nice and quick. Comes to this open side of the ground. Beams has been able to pick it up on that left foot. Misses his target, although he's after it again. He misses the footy. He's got a bit of cramp, young young Feisner, I think. No, he's after it again. Spills off the deck. Husband has it. Snaps it over his left-hand shoulder. Drives the footy. Great spoil. And the ball, once again, will trickle over the line. So some really good defensive work there from Blewett. And we look through that list. Some real prominent names there. Sebastian Farrow's been a real clear standout, as has Connor French and Max Dawkins above him. Whilst we look at the other list, we've got for gold, Whitney Free, Morrison and Redmond have been prominent uh, for gold, as the Ruckman has been strong as well. Ball comes forward, a little bit of a tug of the jumper. Umpire says, I didn't see it, and we'll throw it in. Right on the centre wing, front of the club room side here at Prospect Park, and what's been a, a really productive day for our development series here in Tasmania. Nathan Warren's done a terrific job organising today. And the ball comes off hands in the ruck. Great play there from Whitney. Wasn't able to get hold of it. Ball spills free. No, no real clear possession. Still there. Great pick up there from, from Conkey, uh, from Fulzang it was. Knocks the footy moving forward. The big, the big centre forward. There he is, Johnston. He's been good today. Been a real presence for us, as has Conger over on that wing. Can he pick it up? No, he can't. The ball just slips out the back door. Great handball. Knocks the ball, moving forward. Big left foot kick. Comes the forward to a centre-half forward. Drop mark there from, from Penny, but he goes after his work again. Great play there from Gulliver. He, he kicks it onto his boot. There's a number out the back. It's a drop mark. Drop mark from Henderson. He went straight through his hands. And the ball trickled out in front of uh, Smith Loon. So a real opportunity there for Sebastian Henderson. He just just went through the old Jukes off the chest and uh, and spilt that one. They were clear. That was a clear goal. But uh, tough conditions here today. So he'll be forgiven. Ball comes off hand from the ruckman. He's had an, almost had an airy. Comes off there to Russell. He snaps it over his shoulder. Plenty of that happening at the moment. Terrific mark. Terrific mark there from Cubitt. He looks to move the footy on. Comes out towards Beams. Beams takes a mark, uncontested. Gets back off his mark. He wants to go short. He's telling him that he wears the options. There it is there. He wants to go short, and he does. And he finds his target in Max Dawkins. He's had his own footy today, Dawkins. He's, he's played super well. Moves the footy forward. No mark. Comes off hands. Ball spills free. In congestion there, 16, who was it? It was Aldridge. Knocks the footy moving forward. Big long kick, it just travels with the wind. Who's in front? It was it was Feisner. Comes off his hands, great tackle there. First in, oh, they're cracking in here late in the game. Terrific there from Mannion. Snap over his shoulder, no mark there. Henderson has a chance and it trickles out of bounds. He was away again, was Henderson. He's had a couple of opportunities here late in this final term. We've just ticked over under us, under five minutes to go here in this final term. Black leading 59, gold 51. Ball's thrown in in the attacking half of the ground. It's a free kick. And it's been uh, awarded to Beerman, who will go back. Beerman's going to go back. He's going to have a shot on goal. This will make things very interesting. Kenny find the scoreboard here with a six-pointer. He's looking across. He doesn't know what's going on, but he's going to go back. He's going to have a shot. He got awfully close to the man on the mark. It swings, and it's through. It's through. So Thomas Beerman from Brighton, clutch goal late in this game. Just a tick under four minutes to go, and it's two points to Black. Fo 8 11 59 7 9 51 on the scoreboard here 
at Prospect Park. So you can just see, went back, the ball was swinging. She was a helicopter, but she did what she needed to do, and that was go through for six points. And it's going to be an entertaining final couple of minutes here on Duff TV. And there we are. We have three minutes and 25 and counting. Ball thrown up in the middle. It was favoured the, uh, the gold Ruckman. He knocks it forward. He goes after his own work. Does Whitney. Surges it forward. They're pressing forward now. Who can get a clear possession? He socked it off, sockers off the ground. It's in the right end of the ground for gold. Quick handball there from Beerman. He missed his target. She's a hot footy now. Who can get their hands on it? Mannion does. He kicks it onto his left. Where does it go? It trickles. What does the umpire say? Throw it in. So good result there for Mannion. He snapped it over his shoulder on the left-hand side. Teaming down with rain here at Prospect Park. With only just 2 minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Down by 2, the gold. Thro thrown in. Fresh airy there from Mannion. Whitney has a go. Goes straight up in the air. Who can get their hands on That looked like a throw. Yes, it was. Pick that from there. And what do they do now? Black. So Ratcliffe will have it. No, he hand throws it across to Cubitt, who will now have possession. Do they want to retain possession? Or what do they do? Oh, he's, he's duffed it. Duff TV. You like that one? Play on, he does. Kicks the ball forward. To Mannion, he goes back. Oh, off the hand was Henderson. Ball still in play. Where is it? Handball across. They just want to find the boundary to Black. Get a reset. Gold want to keep it in. And the ball will be thrown in. He gives it back to him really quickly because he knows there's only un just under two minutes remaining. Does the Gold player in stone. Ball's thrown in. Two Ruckman will fight at it again. Dives on it there. Does Aldridge. Aldridge snaps it over his shoulder. They need a mark. Who goes up for it? No one. There's no mark. It comes off hands. Dives on the footy. Does does guard. Conky's in there. Mannion has it. Ball spills free. Kicks off the ground. What does the umpire touch off? Touched off the boot. Well. Still in this forward pocket. And the right end for gold. There's not one player. There's sorry, there is only one pair of players just forward of centre. The rest are in the defensive 50 for black. Ball goes over the top of the ruckman's head. Where's the ball? There it is. It's spilled free. As he's done all day, Farrow just drives the footy out of there. Can he find a mark? He, it doesn't. It comes off hands from French, who just went straight through once again. Trying conditions. The boys have been absolutely super. There's just under 40 seconds to go here at Prospect Park for our under-14 development series game. Ball moves forward in the ruck. Tap down. Has a fresh airy. Ball comes out to to Husband, who's had a lot of the ball. He kicks the ball. It's gone straight up in the air, swirling around. No mark. Comes off hands from, from Hazelwood. Kicks the ball forward. Ball still in dispute. Who can get their hands on it? They want to knock it out of there if they, if they can. Umpire says, I'll oh, have it. With only seconds remaining here. He tried to get it back to the umpire as quick as he could. But there you have it. There's the final siren in what has been an, an enthralling contest here at Prospect Park. You can hear the rain. You can see the rain. It is torrential. The boys are out on their feet in what has been an entertaining afternoon's game of football for those viewers that were at home watching it or in the car if you were here today on Duff TV. Black prevailing 8-11-59 to 8-9-57. And that brings a close to our development series day here at Prospect. Once again, a big thank you to Nathan Warren and his team at AFL Tasmania for putting on the day. He didn't quite put the weather on for us, but... Uh, all in all, it's been a terrific day for both our boys and girls in their development series and de development pathway in what will be an exciting time in football in Tasmania for these this young crop of kids coming through over the next five years. If we look at some prominent players just before we, we close for today. If we look at Devils Black, uh, there was one sort of standout for me. It was Farrow, 23. 
he was terrific. I thought the Ruckman Smith battled away really well. And then Dawkins French. Uh, Beams was prominent as well. And Cubitt. And then for Devil's Gold, I thought the standout for them was Husband, number 18. He was terrific, as was Benjamin Russell, Jack Morrison, Mason Whitney, and, and William Free, number two. So all in all, terrific day. Devil's Black by two. You've been with Duff TV and Darren Crawford for this Thursday afternoon.